Hello watchers, welcome back to the channel. What I have for this video today is this box that contains uh, an interesting uh, watch related product. Now before we move on, I'll just do uh, a quick uh, watch check. So yep, I am wearing the awesome Omega Seamaster Professional 300M. Uh, this is, uh, I think, if not my favorite watch, one of my very favorite pieces uh, these days. I wear it to work most days and it is just such a classic piece. So, uh, and, and this is related to this product as well and I will be uh, testing this out with this uh, Ingersoll Watch Winder. So this uh, is a product that is I think pretty much uh, just branded. You can you can probably order this as a company to be branded with your symbol uh, because it's pretty generic. Uh, this was included in a purchase uh, special of two Ingersoll watches um, that was uh, uh, taken recently in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so this was part of uh, a, a gift with the purchase. So let's take a look inside. Okay, so just take the lid off. Uh, power uh, converter or, or adapter that I've already plugged in to be ready for this review. Uh, instruction manual and that's a, that's a little key that allows you to uh, I guess lock the box if you want to use it uh, to secure the product that way uh, that you're going to put inside and just take a quick look uh, you know fairly generic there's a cleaning cloth there um, if you want to use that uh, you know clear simple instructions very basic just how to put it in the uh, uh, watch holders cushions uh, and the programs the four different programs that they have there um, that that rotates in different uh, directions so you know fairly basic uh, uh, english language manual there so let's take this product out and have a look lift out the bag here okay and that's the bag so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have to uh, take it off the bag out of the bag okay so just at the bottom i'll just show you this all right there's a battery compartment if you don't want to plug it into mains you can use uh, battery power to run this watch winder and again you can see ingersoll branding there but you can imagine that that can probably be printed with any company who wants to collaborate so as I said, I've already plugged in the uh, adapter. So let's just get that in, ready for this to be used. So you can see it's, you know, I, I think quite likely to be made of uh, wood and then it's covered in a lacquer or enamel of some form. Uh, so it's, it's a nice, you know, kind of like a woody feel, uh, not completely solid, but solid enough all over. Uh, with this kind of gloss lacquer there and opening it up you know you can see it's got this metal hinge construction on both sides there and that's the pillow there you now the rotator uh, there's there's a lock at the bottom here so there's a key tool you can use to lock it if you want to secure uh, watches that way and uh, that's that's the product there so just quickly going through the programming you can I don't know if you can see that, but there's four different programs with an off position. Uh, the first program is rotating um, both sides, uh, so clockwise and counterclockwise. You know, clockwise for three minutes, and then it rests for the rest of the half hour, and then anti-clockwise for three minutes, and then the rest for the another half hour. So it it goes through that whole way. Um, the other pro second program is only. Uh, three minutes anti-clockwise and then resting. Third program is, uh, let me have a look. Third program, I think is uh, is a con more a continuous program. So it goes 10 minutes on one direction, 10 minutes on the other, and then it rests uh, for an hour, I think, or, or something like that. But basically just variations in the program. And then the, you know, the last program I think is uh, another another alternating um, rotation program, but basically the concept is you have you have a program that rotates it only clockwise, one that rotates it anti-clockwise. If you're clear on what the rotor on your automatic watch needs to rotate, a third program that 
alternates uh, three minutes uh, between anti-clockwise and clockwise, and then a fourth program that alternates uh, a longer time period, so 10 minute rotation uh, or longer, and then a longer uh, resting period in between. So, you know, just, just variations depending on how uh, long you might need to rotate your watches for and what directions, okay? So, um, I'm gonna just do a quick, uh, I guess, yarn about watch winders. Do, do you actually need a watch winder? You know, and I'm gonna base my comments on some of the stuff that I've been reading, uh, as well as a lot of uh, uh, comments I've heard from the On Time podcast. Uh, that uh, they had one particular podcast where they talked about watch winders. So do you really need the watch winder? And, and then whilst I'm talking, I'm going to put watches onto this, this piece to just show you how it works or how it looks really. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> interestingly, one comment I read was or heard was, uh, you know, watch winders are kind of like watches. You know, you don't really need them. I guess you could argue they're even less needy than, than watches uh, in terms of how necessary they are uh, in life. But, you know, um, it's, it's a, a convenience. And arguably, if you had a, a perpetual or annual calendar that didn't have a quick set, you know, you would have to wind it forward every day to, uh, to actually set the day, uh, then you know, maybe those are the watches that would do best on having a watch winder so you don't have to uh, wind it days and days and days forward when your uh, when your power reserve goes out. Okay, so you're going to see uh, most of, uh, if not all of my automatic watch collection, you know, I'm going to put in here to, to display. And I'll, I'll just uh, put links to the previous reviews up for each watch that I've, I'm going to introduce here. Okay, so, you know, do you need watch winders? I've commented, um, not strictly speaking, but I think if you had certain types of watches, probably uh, there is a benefit in, in, uh, in getting a watch winder for, you know, those annual or perpetual calendar automatic watches. I don't have any of those. I, I, you know, all my watches are quick set. So arguably, I, I really don't need one. Okay, so um, now there's a... Th there's talk about whether uh, watch winders can harm your watch, you know, if you could overwind your mainspring and cause damage that way. I think in some vintages, yes, you could, but realistically, uh, this programming, you know, where it rotates for three minutes and rests for 90% of the time, it's probably hard to, hard to imagine that that would cause damage. And I think the comment is that uh, in modern, wristwatches with automatic movements there are protection mechanisms that prevent overwinding you you probably not gonna actually harm your watch okay and then okay that's that's the last watch i'm going to put in there and then we'll turn it on and we'll show you how it works okay and there we go so if you had it running Close the lid, you know, two on display at the bottom and two on the winder for this particular model. You can get, uh, you know, ones for a single uh, watch, uh, quadruple watch, uh, even eight, I think, uh, even up to eight watches uh, in, in certain brands that I've seen. Um, so, you know, there we have it. Let me know what you think uh, about this review about watch winders in general. Do you, do you have them? Do you think you need them? Uh, do you really feel that uh, they are necessary for some watches? And, you know, uh, I had this sitting on the side here, just a quick uh, preview, actually. This is a, a watch that I'm going to uh, review very soon. You know, this is the Ingersoll Lawrence GMT in cream. So, you know, just a quick bonus preview here. Uh, look out for this review that is coming soon. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to comparing this uh, just aesthetically you know, with... Uh, with the black face one that I've had previously. So thank you guys again for watching this far. I hope that's been uh, an enjoyable uh, look at a watch winder, horological topic. Uh, subscribe to keep in touch. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.